हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट टू ड्रॉ ऑन ऑटो कैड वी ऑल नो ऑटो कैड सॉफ्टवेयर इज हैविंग रिमार्केबल फीचर्स दिस सॉफ्टवेयर वाज इन्वेंटेड बाय ऑटोडेस्क कंपनी इन द ईयर 1982 एज अ सिविल इंजीनियर वी शुड नो हाउ टू यूज दिस सॉफ्टवेयर अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट्स वास्ट यूज वी आर डीलिंग विद ओनली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग ऑटो कैड बट बिफोर गोइंग टू हैंड्स ऑन प्रैक्टिस स्टूडेंट शुड नो व्हाट टू ड्रॉ we are civil engineers and expected to draw building plans autocad enables to draw 3d drawings also but comparatively other best softwares also available in the market like 3d max blender sketchup etc building plans on paper are major input required for students to learn autocad software you should first draw building line plan on paper for this purpose students should know about different rooms of residential building that is living room kitchen cum dining bedroom master bedroom store room wc bath and staircase construction of building is allowed only in non agricultural land that is plot you should know about plots their sizes their areas and their numbers for this purpose you have to refer layout plan layout plan is prepared by dividing whole land into its pieces called as plot This piece of land should be non-agricultural that is in a land details of layout plan we will discuss in our next video to draw a line plan student should know orientation of different rooms according to the vastu shastra for example kitchen should be located towards southeast corner living room should be located towards north facing bedroom should be located towards southwest and northwest direction wc bath should be located towards south or against the windward direction staircase should start from north and goes to the south means staircase should be located towards south direction study room should be located towards east facing etc southeast is the best direction for kitchens as per vastu shastra but if you can't find suitable place in that corner then northwest direction works as well East facing rooms are most suited as kitchen and breakfast areas as they can benefit from early morning solar gain throughout the year and will be cooler in the late afternoon when evening meal preparation takes place According to Vastu Shastra best place for master bedroom is in the southwest section of your house the second best position is south and the third best position is west direction According to the Vastu Shastra the study room should be located in the northeast corner of the home this direction is known to bring knowledge and prosperity into one's life the ideal directions for constructing a bathroom are northwest or southeast corners of the house having bathroom in these directions it is believed to be harmony within the home the staircase should always start from the north and goes towards the south or from east to the west The auspicious direction recommended by the principles of staircase or vastu is either south or the west. Living room are the entrance of residence and must be located in the north direction. As per the vastu tips for the living room, this space must be placed in the northwest corner for the east and north facing. North facing rooms having good daylight most of the day have solar gain for the most of the day throughout the year. This is because these directions are believed to have a positive impact on energy flow within the living space. North facing rooms having good daylight as well as good ventilation. Hello students, let us draw line plan of residential building. So in this video we are going to draw a line plan of a bungalow having 1 BHK, one bedroom, one hall and one kitchen. So accordingly first step is to locate north direction first so for example this is north direction according to north direction according to north direction this is east this is south and this is west direction so we have all the details like kitchen i have planned to draw kitchen with the dimension of 4.5 meter length and 3.5 meter width bedroom 
with same dimension 4.5 meter length and 3.5 meter width again living room with the dimensions of 6 meter by 5.5 meter we have staircase the width of staircase is 2 meter and the length required to occupy the different steps is 4 meter so 4 meter length is required to occupy all the steps so the size of staircase will be 4 meter by 2 meter by 4 meter so with reference to these dimensions let us start to draw a line plan so first is kitchen so we have vastu shastra and it is says that kitchen should be located towards south east corner means this corner so this is location for kitchen okay and the size of kitchen is 4.5 meter length and 3.5 meter its width so locate 4.5 meter 4.5 meter and this is 3.5 meter so how this is been how this is been done because of scale we have select scale 1 as 200 as we already discussed 1 as 200 means 1 cm on paper is equal to 1 meter on ground so size is 4.5 meter here we can draw 4.5 cm here width is 3.5 cm 3.5 meter we can draw 3.5 cm on paper so let us join it draw first faint lines okay so give dimension 4.5 by 3.5 meter dimensions of kitchen now in between kitchen and bedroom we are going to provide a staircase so here the space for staircase is given this is staircase so we have decided to give dimension staircase 2 meter by 4 meter 2 meter its width and accordingly 4 meter its length so we have to take 1 meter landing of staircase so this 1 meter is a portion of landing of staircase which is taken out of building line and including this 1 meter take all 4 meter so this is staircase staircase is divided into two parts that is two flight again staircase is divided into two part that is 1 meter and 1 meter staircase is staircase is having two flights provide bedroom so uh, the dimensions of bedroom also same as the kitchen 4.5 meter length and 3.5 meter width so look at 3.5 meter first major 4.5 meter now this is bedroom it's called as bedroom having dimension 4.5 by 3.5 meter now the next is living room or hall so the size of living room is taken 6 meter by 5.5 meter 6 meter its length and 5.5 meter its width so 6 meter take extended line from this point major 6 meter draw a vertical line okay so 6 meter by 5.5 meter so living room is also done Six point zero by five point five meter. 
so according to these dimensions we can calculate length and width of building so length of building 6 meter plus this 4.5 meter means 10.5 meter so in the line plan width of external wall and internal wall is excluded when we draw detailed plan then we will add thicknesses of internal and external wall what should be the width of the total building 3.5 plus 3.5 plus this 2 2 meter width of staircase means 7 plus 2 9 so 9 meter is width of building now WC and bath so WC should have minimum dimensions 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter 1.2 meter is width 1.2 meter is length bathroom bath should have minimum width of 1.5 meter and length should be 2.5 meter so accordingly we will draw WC and bath so here WC WC is 1.2 meter and 1.2 meter its length here we cannot apply aspect ratio rule so aspect ratio rule is applicable for kitchen bedrooms living rooms and etc and bathroom should be 1.5 meter and length should be this 2.5 meter can join this line and the remaining portion you can say as a porch this is porch and porch should be shown in dotted line so that you can understand this is porch you can extend this portion also so what should be the width of porch 9 meter minus this 5.5 meter means 3.5 meter its width and what should be the length 10.5 meter total width of uh, building is 10.5 meter this 4.5 1.2 and 1.5 total is this is 7.3 meter so 10.5 mi minus 7.3 it becomes up to this level and take this extended portion 0.7 is 3.3 plus 0.7 flow 4 4 meter so size of porch becomes 4 by 3.5 meter so in this way you can draw a line plan of residential building or residential bungalow so this is a model of 1 bhk plan so accordingly you can draw a model of 2 bhk also so hope you understood this with reference to this all students try to draw a line plan of 1 bhk bungalow thank you